Just trying to set the record for the creepiest intro. <laughs> the Guinness Book of World Records is filled with basically every record you could possibly imagine. And most of them are harmless, like the longest hair or the baldest person. But then there are those records that people literally have risked their lives for and were incredibly dangerous. Kids, do not try these at home. Or adults, nobody try these. Here are the 10 most dangerous world records. Number 10 is the heaviest car balanced on a head. If you ever plan to take on any of the records set by this man, you'd better have the strongest neck of all time because he just might. For over 20 years, John Evans has been balancing large objects on his head without leveling weights or even his hands. The 70 year old Englishman performs incredible feats for parties and marketing events, even selling ad space on some of the large items that sway back and forth above him while being stared at by odd witnesses. Oh my god, that man might die. Also suddenly I need car insurance. His most impressive record is likely having the largest car balanced on someone's head, a red mini that weighed a whopping 161.5 kilograms. As you could imagine, his doctors want him to stop right now, as the strain on his neck is insanely high, especially because he's 70. But Evan still pushes himself. He's so unbelievable that even the great Stan Lee has dubbed him a real life superhero. Number 9 are the most rattlesnakes in a mouth. If you haven't figured it out yet, it seems like people will do anything to obtain a world record, up to and including revealing their dominance over animals. Or perhaps it's simply revealing one's ability to not be killed by said animals. Jackie Bibby is one of those people and he's obsessed with rattlesnakes. In fact, he's so obsessed that he continued working with them every day despite losing his right leg after receiving a nasty bite during a stunt. Bibby holds five Guinness World Records because of the rattlesnakes, which include being in a bathtub with 195 of them more than any other person ever has. But among all of them, his greatest is holding 13 rattlesnakes in his mouth at the same time. But for some reason, this record has never been broken or even attempted. Hmm, I wonder why. Number 8 is a human ramp on a bed of nails. Why simply take on a dangerous world record when you could take on an absurd and insanely dangerous one? Well, that's exactly what Simone Calati would say, who on May 12th, 2013, decided to lay down on a bed of nails while supporting a metal ramp that ran from over his head to the floor by his feet. One by one, 31 motorcycles ran over the Italian performer over and over while he supported them with his body, setting a new and utterly bizarre world record record in the process. And it turns out Kaladi isn't the only one with such a strange death wish, as on October 26, 2015, Burnaby Q. Orbax, which by the way is just the best name ever, smashed the standing record by laying down on his own bed of nails in Vancouver, British Columbia, and allowing 70 motorcycles to drive over him. Okay guys, I'm ready! Yep, there are some special people in this world. Number 7 is eating an entire plane. Oh, if your hunger for breaking a world record is matched only by your hunger for eating things that are not actually edible, then this could be yours. Michael Latito, a man from Grenoble, France, who's better known as Mr. Eat All, was diagnosed with pica at an early age and had a craving for eating metal. He turned those cravings into a career, making a show of the over one kilogram of material that he would consume every day. During the early 1980s, Latito took on the biggest challenge when he consumed an entire Cessna 150 airplane. It took him two years to finish and helped get the entertainer the world record for strangest diet. Oh, you're making steak for dinner? No thanks, not hungry right now. I got my own. Breaking Mr. Eat All's record would be insanely difficult, especially when you consider that he was handed his bronze plaque from Guinness, which he promptly ate. I'm not even kidding. Number six is the highest wire walk. The men and women who walk the high wire 
do so with an understanding that every step could be their last. And for many, that last step has been taken in front of thousands. Experienced walkers are always looking for bigger and more outrageous challenges, many of them well into their golden years. But one of the greatest record-setting tightrope performers was Carl Willenda, whose career spanned from 1911 until his death, which occurred in 1978 in San Juan, Puerto Rico. That's where the 73-year-old fell off his line to the pavement 37 meters below. His death proved that no matter how much experience you have, you can't account for every factor, and in this case it was high winds and poor rope anchoring. And if you think this is rare, it's not. Many people have died since then, vying for the distance record of 130 meters set by Bello Knock in 20. I know this guy passed, but I gave him all kinds of credit. After all, how many old people do you see just being like, I can't even walk, and this guy's like, I'm just gonna walk all this way. Watch me go. Number five is the highest parachute jump. On October 14th, 2012, much of the world watched in awe as Felix Baumgartner stepped out of the helium balloon carried pod he descended to the stratosphere in and plummeted to the earth, breaking the sound barrier on his way. <laughs> Watch me go! The Australian skydiver fell from an outstanding 39 kilometers up, setting multiple records for the trip home. But of course, records are meant to be broken, and Baumgartner's altitude record was beaten just two years later by the VP of Google himself, Alan Eustace. On October 24, 2014, the then 57-year-old executive made a similar incredibly dangerous leap, but this time from 42.43 kilometers up. Both men were lucky and prepared enough to be successful, but a host of things can go wrong in such jumps, and the smallest miscalculation or error can lead to a very big splat. Number four is the fastest moving. If you're looking for the ultimate thrill and are willing to take the ultimate risk to achieve it, then perhaps going faster than you were ever meant to go is for you. An unaccountable number of people have set out to break speed records, be it on the ground, in the air, or water. And not surprisingly, a great many of them have lost their lives to the challenge. On July 14, 2013, after attempting to break his own record for the fastest speed traveled on a conventional motorcycle over a 1.6 kilometer stretch, the 44-year-old Bill Warner from Florida lost control at 459 kilometers an hour, crashed his bike, and soon after lost his life while in the hospital. His record was set at 476 kilometers an hour and has yet to be broken. Number three is jumping the most buses on a motorcycle. Evil Knievel and his son Robbie are two of the most famous daredevils of all time, each of them holding some incredible records in the sport of motorcycle jumping. On October 25th, 1975, soon after his 37th birthday, Evil successfully jumped 14 Greyhound buses for a total of 40.5 meters on a Harley Davidson motorcycle. And he held that record for over 24 years, but that doesn't mean that others didn't try to claim it for themselves. One of those individuals was 44-year-old Iranian daredevil Javad Palazbanian, who attempted to not only break Knievel's record, but put it to shame on August 28, 2005 by jumping 22 buses for a total of nearly 64 meters, more than 50% further than Evil's jump. Unfortunately, he didn't make it, crashing into the 13th bus. And sadly, he died on impact which only made the sport more popular. Um, I might be getting old, but can someone explain to me how dying makes something more popular? What? Number two is the deepest dive. One of the most dangerous records you can take on doesn't involve speed or height, but depth. Rebreather deep divers wear special pieces of scuba equipment that recirculate the air they breathe out and provide them with clean oxygen, while they're hundreds of meters below the ocean's surface. On March 26, 2014, UK freediver Will Goodman set a world record when he reached a depth 
of 290 meters in Indonesia. It's estimated he made it further, but unfortunately, his instruments stopped working due to the pressure. Others, such as 40-year-old Swiss diver Bridget Lenoir, weren't lucky enough to reach the surface alive. Man, if you go that deep, pressure should be the last thing on your mind. You know how many creepy crawly things are down there? Giant squids and stuff that are just gonna be like, I'm gonna eat you now. And number one is the highest pool jump. In 2015 alone, at least 29 cliff jumpers lost their lives while engaged in the sport, many of them very experienced in performing such a feat. Yet still more and more people seem to be flocking to the dangers of it. One of them is 29 year old Brazilian Swiss extreme athlete Lasso Schaller, who took high jumping to the highest limit in recorded history, both literally and figuratively. Okay everybody, let's see how it goes. <laughs> On August 4th, 2014, he stepped off a platform at the top of the Cascada del Salto, a waterfall on the Swiss-Italian border, and plunged nearly 59 meters into the pool at the bottom. On the way down, he hit a velocity of over 122 kilometers an hour and dislocated his hip on impact. But still, he was lucky enough to survive and got a whole new world record for his trouble. Raise your hand if you're terribly afraid of heights. Okay, these are all the people that are not attempting this. So those are the 10 most dangerous world records. And if you guys enjoyed this, remember to give it a big thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and click the bell beside the subscribe button to enable notifications so you never miss a thing because I release new videos all the time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye now. Right.